Hey folks, Vegeta FH1 here. Um, it is 20 past 8. I should be in bed. Yeah, I'm trying to get my sleep pattern back, but anyway, that's a different topic. I am here to actually say that I have resubscribed to X Barbie B. Um, and listening to my own voice through YouTube, it sounds like I'm saying X bar B B but I'm not. I'm saying X bar re B. It sounds retarded. <laughs> X bar B B <laughs> It's like uh, anyway, um I've resubscribed to her. Cause she, you know what? She's not the usual person I'd subscribe to. And she brings a lot of intelligent conversations to the table and I like that about her because she's as I said fairly damn intelligent now to those people who are wondering I seen a video of you rant about this girl yeah you did I deleted that video there's a very good reason for it if you think logically then you might uh, kind of cop on to what's going on. Why would I delete the video about a video which contained uh, questionable information? Because my rant also contained questionable, or not questionable, um, sensitive information. Anyway, I was talking about hackers, this is the reason why I actually started up this. I was talking about hackers in that last rant, which is now deleted. I wanted to talk about anti-hackers this time, because there is a situation right now um, with a person in the UK being extradited to the US. Uh, his name is Gary McKenna, or McKinnon, I can't pronounce his second name to save my life. But he is the definition of an anti-hacker hacker. Um, this guy, there was a another recording of this which I uh, failed to upload, mainly because it was two videos long. But uh, this guy has Asperger's syndrome, the same syndrome that I have. Asperger's is is it's AS or HFA higher functioning autism um, this guy apparently broke into the pentagon's computers in the US through well cyberspace the internet whatever the fuck you want to call it but um, he's being extradited from the UK to the US because of that now here's the catch. He broke into the Pentagon's computers, however he did no damage whatsoever. Even though they're reporting that he did over 700,000 damage, he did no damage whatsoever. And he then emailed the Pentagon saying, I think you better take a look, uh, take a look at this big giant hole that's in your security system. Here's how I got in through it here's how you should fix it if you want I can do it for you or I can teach one of your guys how to fix it for you so there was no malicious intent at all none whatsoever Not you can't even look at this in, in malicious eyes because he has Asperger's a person with Asperger's were not malicious like me I will not maliciously attack someone. And with that, I want to actually bring up the point that he was... I, I know you can't see them, but these are air quotes. Looking for UFOs. I doubt it. I think that's just the media's spin on it. I would say he's a UFO believer much like myself 
the difference is I can actually prove it logically. Uh, actually, yeah. I'll upload my Aliens um, MP3 about me explaining exactly how, why, and logical proof that aliens actually exist, but that's a separate issue. Anyway, this guy is in pretty much deep shit. Because he has Asperger's Syndrome, he hates change. Now, this is... But how do you know this? He's, he's not you. No, you're damn right, he's not me. He has Asperger's Syndrome. It's with all people with Asperger's Syndrome. We hate change. We despise it. With a passion. We make a fucking art form out of hating change. But... That being said... This guy will never be heard from again when he goes to the US. Um, as sad as that is for me to tell, uh, to say it, my money is down on the table for him committing suicide. Even though he is 43 years old. Yes, this guy is 43 years old, with no malicious intent whatsoever, is quite possibly the definition of an anti-hacker hacker and he's being extradited to the US from the UK because he wanted to do something nice for the US government quite honestly I don't see how that works this guy is trying to do something nice for you and you want to throw the book at him. I don't get that. Uh, that's like intellectual property. It makes no fucking sense. Oh, because I think it. You can't copy me? Okay, well I'm thinking of the world right now. Does that mean everyone else can't copy me? I mean, come on. Use some fucking common sense. I honestly think that this is quite uh, this is no it is the biggest mistake the UK government has ever done uh, I'm leaving aside the entire um, Mandela situation because that's just off the scale but um, I I feel for his friends family relatives I feel for them all that know him, because they know damn well what's going to happen. As much as anybody else that's met anybody with Asperger's Syndrome. This guy, I actually fear for his life. And uh, while we're actually on this, this shouldn't even be allowed, because a, this is against his human rights. Um, well, okay, I'll give you an example. A person with Asperger's Syndrome can't stand being in a room with lots of people. It is an antisocial disorder, or a, a social disorder. It's myself. I'll give you an example of myself. When there's one person in the room with me, like I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with person, I'm fine. When there's two people with me, I get a little bit e etchy. When there's three people, I just... I freeze up. When there's four people, I get up and I leave the fucking room. Because I just can't stand it. My brain is going mental. There's too much input. With this guy, it's the exact same. You're asking him to go to a place that's taking him outside his environment. His, uh, I'll say, safe house. Without sounding ridiculous. And you're putting him in a courtroom he has no idea about. With people he who, who he does not know. With 
several other hundred thousand people and their prying eyes. This is torture to his brain. That's way, way too much information to take in. Especially for someone with Asperger's because we have a tendency to analyse everything. And I mean seriously analyse everything. This will be torture to him. And last I checked, a human being was allowed to be safe in their own body. Of course, that's the last time I checked. Anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> Says.